Well, this coming week in Kelowna, on March the 4th, as a matter of fact, the Okanagan Arts Awards are being handed out again. It's going to be a great gala evening happening at the West Bank Lions Hall, honouring 25 nominees in a whole variety of disciplines. And one of the winners last year was Theatre Kelowna. Theatre Kelowna is celebrating not just a win last year for the Okanagan Arts Awards, but also 60 years of being in existence 60 years of community theatre. I had a chance this past week to talk to Debbie Helf, and like most community theatre members, Debbie does everything and anything that has to be done with community theatre. She's an actor, she's a director, she's also on the board and other publicity committee, I think, for this play right now that they're working on. And as I say, I talked to her about the fact that Theatre Kelowna has been going for six decades. Can you believe this group started in 1949? How did it get started in 1949? Yeah, well, this is, you know, Kelowna, I wasn't here. You know, I've been here. (laughs) I don't think you were alive in 1949. (laughs) um, Actually, I was born in 44. But it was must have been a teeny tiny sleepy town. It was before the bridge, before TV. And I think the only entertainment in town was this little theater group called Kelowna Little Theater. Uh huh. And then later on, it merged with a musical group called Kelowna Musical Productions in the 70s, and they became Theater Kelowna Society. But, you know, these community theater groups are all over the world, in every little town, everywhere. And if you want to make friends, grassroots, you know, anybody can join. And what got you started with community theater? And me, I'm one of those guys that was doing shows in my mother's basement at four. Really? And then did it all through school and majored in it and then got married and had kids and was off the stage for 15 years. And then one day in 1981, someone came over to my house and said, hey, you know, want to come and audition for Theatre Kelowna? And I got a part of as a spider in in Babes in Toyland. (laughs) You were a spider. I was a spider. They didn't know me, so I got the lowliest part, the animal. But uh, then it was from then on. I've been on the board since 83. And I'm just, there's people like us that are just in love with it. It's our passion. So tell me about you at four years old in the basement. What what were you producing at four years old? Well, we we did one show. I was always the director, <laughs> and my sister and cousin and best friend were you know did what I said. We were the bossy one. I you? was the boss. We oh. called ourselves the Four Leaf Clover Theater. Oh, that's great. And we would do shows. We did one that imitated my mother's sewing circle. <laughs> And, and, you know, we would make them come down, and it would cost 25 cents to come to our shows. Or I think it was a cigarette they had to give. In those days, everybody smoked. Right. Not us. Not the four-year-olds. But, but I remember we we charged a cigarette, I think. It was very strange. <laughs> very 1950s, you know. <laughs> and you were, so you were making fun of the sewing circle, and then you invited them to come and witness They'd this. come and watch us. And well, somebody would leave the, the sewing circle on stage, and everybody go, Oh, can you believe the, that? outfit she was wearing and they'd gossip about them in a really mean way (laughs) so that was one of our shows i wonder if it improved their behavior (laughs) any seeing your production i don't know i don't know so where did you go after the basement i went you know it just in elementary i was born in san francisco so this all happened in san francisco and you know i just did theater in elementary school and high school and then i went to berkeley in the 60s no kidding and did Majored in drama and revolution, because that was the uh, free speech movement. I can't believe it. Berkeley in the 60s. How fantastic is that? It was glorious. Nobody went to classes. Everybody just demonstrated. Those were the days, you know, Mario Savio and, you know, free speech, we shall overcome. It was it was amazing. What a time. So that's where I got my taste for politics. You know, which the uh, the uh, the developers in Kelowna are ruining to this day. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right. So so at Berkeley you were doing theater as well as Revolution. Right. And then of course I traveled the world and met somebody and and of course the Vietnam War was at a height. So I brought my future husband back to California and he was going to be drafted because the war was hot. Even though he was not an American citizen, he was oh. Austrian. So my mother said, uh, why don't you guys go to Canada? It's close. And we did. And that's how your life can change. You know, one person makes a comment over a glass of bourbon, 
and you're, you end up in British Columbia in 1968. My guest in this half hour on North by Northwest is Debbie Helf, and Debbie is a board member with Theatre Kelowna. She's an actor, a director, and a publicity person as well, whatever needs to be done, as it always is in community theatre. And as we continued our conversation, she told me that after being the spider, her first role with Theatre Kelowna, she went on to be a witch, and she hasn't looked back. She has loved every moment of being with Theatre Kelowna. The theatre is our place of worship it sounds odd but it's true it sounds kind of corny but it's true what do you mean by that okay it's a spiritual experience to be on stage and to put on a play because there's some kind of magic that happens with the audience and the actor and the whole process it's a, a wonderful communication and it's all about spirit and feelings and And I think it's true of all the art forms. It's spiritual. So when we we get in there, it's like a place of worship, you know. And it's kind of an honor even to to get out and mop the stage. Yeah. And when you walk in, we have a wonderful community theater here that was built in the 60s. And and we've also built a wonderful arts center with a gorgeous little theater here called the Rotary Center for the Arts. I've been in that, yes. But you walk in, and it just the smell is magic. And what's wonderful about community theater is you bring the young ones along. So you'll bring, a little 10-year-old will be in the show, in the Christmas show, as a spider <laughs> or as some kind of little urchin. And you say, hey, you know, Connor, there was one little boy named Connor, here we are. Isn't this amazing? And you take them through and say, you know, smell the smell. And and they fall in love, you know, and it's just, it's an amazing art form. And then they're back the next production and the yeah. next. And as happens with a lot of these little guys, they end up being stand-up comics for a living. My own son became an actor and lived in poverty in Vancouver for a few years, you know. Uh-huh. Uh, and was he involved with Theatre Kelowna as well? And they all, yes. He got a start when he was like 11, and community theater, myself too. You know, at the time, I was kind of a lonely divorcee when I got involved. And it, people in a community that need or want to get back in touch with that passion and that love can find, you know, sort of a family mm-hmm. in these little community theater groups. Because of being in that space and because of working in so many different dimensions together, I think, hey, it's just the bonds that grow Yeah, up. it's, you know, and it's, it's intense. You know, you start maybe six weeks ahead with the rehearsals and there's all these wonderful people come in, props and set painting and designing and you have production meetings and this intensity builds and builds and then there's the week before you open which is called hell week and everybody (laughs) goes crazy and the director is allowed at least one fit you know and somebody has a tantrum and someone bursts out crying and runs out of the room it's very intense because we're all drama queens (laughs) right and it's and then you put on the play and then it's just explodes into this ecstasy with the audience applause and and the excitement and the uh, thrill and the creativity and the magic and the whole thing and and then it's over two weeks later that's part of the magic it's over never to be seen again it's just it's an, an amazing art form that way it, it's, yeah it's <laughs> wonderful it's a wonderful thing I can hear it in your voice how much <laughs> you're just loving this mm-hmm. what's the production right now Right now, we're just in Hell Week for oh, this is Hell Week now. Okay, for a show called I Hate Hamlet. It's a young actor who whose career is on the wane, and he gets a part playing Hamlet in New York as Shakespeare in the Park. He's from Hollywood. He knows nothing about it, and uh, he moves into John Barrymore's old apartment that is haunted by John Barrymore, who played Hamlet in the twenties and was the most famous Hamlet ever. And John Barrymore appears, and they ha- they teaches him how to be Hamlet. It sounds like fun. It's really fun. Are you in this one? I'm not in it. I'm publicity. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I'm in the next play. And what's the next play? The next play is called Distracted by Lisa Lomer. It's brand new, two years old. And it's about a young man who might have ADD. 
who's just wild, and you don't see him till the end of the show. He just yells obscenities from backstage and, you know, talks to his mom off stage. And is, <gasps> there's the most beautiful scene that will make everybody cry when oh. he comes on and sits on his mother's lap. And it's all about how our society, with our cell phones and our TVs and everything ringing and how distracted we are. So we're doing that for our Zone Festival. And are you rehearsing that one yet at all? We're just starting. Oh, And I got a part in that one. Debbie, thanks so much for your time today. It's just terrific to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you. I guess if people are, and how could they not be, inspired to want to come and and get involved, there's there's always room for more? That's right. And we have a wonderful website called theatercolona.org. So anybody who hears this... Go to that website, phone us up, you're welcome. Come and be in some plays. That is Debbie Health, and she is one of the members of Theatre Kelowna. She's on the board. She's an actor, a director, and whatever else needs to be done. I'm just looking at that website right now at theaterkelowna.org. The next play up, as she mentioned, is I Hate Hamlet. And after that, the one that she's acting in, titled Distracted.